What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. Remember when companies just sold you a damn product, like you bought what they sold and that was that? These days it seems like they're trying to integrate themselves into every facet of your life, including video games. Brands have done some pretty weird stuff to try and appeal to the gaming demographic. I mean, at one point you had KFC spitting on their founder's legacy to make a weird dating simulator. Colonel Sanders Sanders did not make the best damn deep fried chicken recipe just for you to put him in a dating sim because ha ha funny. You may as well be digging up his grave and spitting on his corpse. Mad? Hell yeah I'm mad. Colonel Sanders is a goddamn American hero and he should be treated as such. It now looks that Kellogg's, a well-known cereal brand, is looking to break into the streaming scene. According to Yahoo, they have some sort of deal set up with Twitch's brand partnership studio to stream on they their site. on using their mascot for Frosted Flakes, Tony the Tiger, as the host for a stream scheduled for August 19th. It looks to be a one-time thing. Not only that, but they're planning on making him into a VTuber. Yeah, VTubers, those guys that pretend that they're anime characters and screech into the microphone ad nauseum. Hey man. I'm not gonna judge what you lack, whatever floats your boat. So, not only is it a VTuber, but a first Sona VTuber. My god, that is the worst idea that has ever graced my consciousness. I mean, just think about how weird and degenerate the chat's gonna be, man. They're gonna have to have Twitch mods patrolling that chat like prison guards. I'm pretty sure that Tony the Tiger had a Twitter account at one point, but they had to, like, do away with it because they were getting flooded by, like, horny furries or something. I don't know, man, like, what an odd community, I tell you. Honestly, what else is there to say about it? It's an obvious publicity stunt that people are gonna forget about in a week's time. And I know this because brands have tried and failed to do this crap time and time again. You had Wendy's trying to stream on Twitch, Chuck E. Cheese trying to stream on Twitch. Both of these attempts at brands trying to integrate themselves in the Twitch community have failed, and they failed for a very simple reason. That being that no one's going to unironically sit down to watch the rant from Chuck E. Cheese play Fall Guys for for eight hours straight. I don't know, I just like to think that people have better things to do with their time. By the way, if any of my viewers work at Chuck E. Cheese, if that place is even still open, someone got paid, probably more than you, to pretend to be the Chuck E. Cheese mascot and play video games. Just remember that the next time you gotta clean whatever fluids the kiddos leave behind in the play place. At the end of the day, this whole thing where you have mascots going on websites like Twitch and stuff, it's only good for a one-off publicity stunt, which, to be fair, that's what this whole thing seems to be. You know, you hear someone say, hey, you know Tony the Tiger's on Twitch, right? Someone else will say, whoa, that's pretty funny, and then they'll never think about it again. In other gaming news, Spider-Man has recently been re-released to the PC, and you know what that means, modders lining up to give the game new life. I'll be honest, I haven't actually bought the game, but I don't think that means I can't give my two cents here. Obviously, you got a lot of mods coming out for the game, but there's one that people seem to be up in a fuss about. Apparently, the Spider-Man game has has some pride flags in them, and there's a mod, well, was a mod, that lets you remove them. The mod has been removed from the mainstream sites like Nexus and is actively being censored. Now, first of all, at this point, censoring the mod ain't gonna do anything, because at this point, it's viral, right? Everyone's talking about the mod, everyone knows about it, and at this point, it's really just a matter of finding an alternative mod site or finding a link on some forum where it can be downloaded. It's a classic case of the Strassand effect. I don't think most people would care about the mod because the flags only on like one or two buildings, so it's not a prominent part of the game anyways. But now everyone's talking about it, everyone knows about it, my guess is that's gonna make more people download the mod. They're gonna find the website with the files and they're gonna download it to their game. That's just how these sorts of things work. Now, as far as whether or not this mod is a bad thing, who cares? Way I see it, you bought the game, it's your files on your PC, you have the right to change it as you wish. Are you seriously gonna cry over someone else changing their own game to their own life? Talking. What are you, some sort of control freak? I guess the next question is, does removing the pride flag from the game make you a homophobe? Well again, I really don't care. But honestly, I mean, it's a flag in a video game. Does modding the flags out of a Spider-Man game mean that, that I hold the opinion that gays shouldn't be entitled to the same rights as anyone else? Does it mean that I hate gay people? No, I don't think so. It's a flag in a video game. Now, I get it. It's a very important symbol to some people. But at the end of the day, someone modding it out of their game 
It's not hurting anyone, so I don't really get the fuss. Now, do I think Nexus should delete the mod? Well, I guess they are well within their rights to do so. Personally, I think they should keep it up. I'm not really much in support of censoring these sorts of mods. I mean, just because you don't like something don't mean you should push it onto everyone else, you dig? But again, I'm not too worked up about it. Because while Nexus is the biggest, like, mod place, there's other places where you're gonna be able to download this mod from, so honestly, it is what it is. Funny thing is, apparently the mod is like just a localization from the Middle Eastern versions of the game, which I'm not sure if that's true, but if it is, it is kind of funny if you really think about it. Honestly, it's not worth making a big deal about in my opinion. I think I'll use an argument from the LGBT community to really sum up my thoughts. Just as it's none of my business as to what two consenting adults do in the bedroom, it's none of your business as to what I do with my video game. But, that's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, you guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.